Hello and welcome to a Kansas Medicare tutorial. In this one we will have a look at the new independent mode for duplicate element heads, which was added in version 1.796, but I'm using the latest beta. So duplicate elements is a mode for multi-element heads in MagicQ, which means that unless you explicitly uh, include the elements in the programmer or have them active on the playback, elements 2 and above will be duplicated from uh, element 1. So right now they are in the you know the normal duplicative uh, uh, mode so if I select you know the head the fixture you cannot for instance fan the element position to do that you need to select the elements and to select the elements you can you select the group or the uh, head and, and then hold down all and then all elements or you can use syntax, syntax which is dot through we now selected all the elements and we can record that to a new uh, group to keep the selection I'm just going to record a couple of positions to so show something So as you as you could see, when I selected the elements, I could, you know, pa uh, fan the position for elements. But if I go back to the group without the elements, and I select a palette which I record a separate information for the elements on, um, elements two and above will just duplicate element one. So in the normal duplicate mode you need to remember to select uh, the elements if you want to use the separate information however this selection thing is is a problem uh, when uh, in, a, in a QSAC so let me uh, just record a couple of things you can now see that Okay, the first queue looks good, second as well, but if you go back or to the next, you can see that just element one is moving. And I had this problem uh, in real life, so what I did in each new queue was that I uh, included, or I took, uh, selected the elements, shift and queue to include the selected heads, and then I just pressed the queue stack to uh, solve the position problem. However, this new independent mode solves this problem. So if you go to patch, view heads, and all the way to the right, there's a new column, uh, independent elements, and you want to change that from duplicate to independent. And what this means is that uh, MagicQ now automatically kind of activates each element when just selecting the Heads, so they will act independently, uh, and the val separate values will be recorded. Uh, so if I select the first, just the, you know the main, if I select a picture, and select a palette with information for each element, they will now use that information without having to select the elements themselves, uh, which is very nice. Uh, so this also solves this problem which I had with the MacQ stack so you can now see that it always looks good so this I really like this new independent mode so uh, you can also fan colors and uh, I th I'm not sure if you can record from FX but perhaps so that's it. Uh, just a quick look on uh, the new mode. So, thanks for watching.